Hello my lovelies! So uh, we are here to do our fall hairstyle to go with our wreath we made yesterday. Um, you need a ponytail holder. Just one. Uh, you need clear elastic. Clear elastic. Just one. One clear elastic. Um, and some bobby pins. Uh, we're gonna be using, I, I'm gonna be using two sizes today. Uh, usually, just so you guys know the different sizes, um, here, I'm gonna come back here so you can see them better. This is a standard size. See? Mm-hmm. Now, my favorites are these big ones. Where are you at? There you are. Versus a standard size. You see the difference here? Okay. These are my favorites. And uh, the last time I got them at Sally's, I bought them in these. They're actually uh, roller pins. See? Roller pins. Um, I bought a big giant thing because, like all bobbies, I use them or lose them. And then uh, we're going to use little ones. This size. See how tiny these are in comparison? Yes, so today I'm going to use a couple of these and then of course the big ones. Um, I've already added the little ones to my wreath. See, this is what we made yesterday. Lovely. And uh, I've already added my pins to our loops. You don't have to do that part. If you don't want to put a wreath in your hair, then by all means, do not put a wreath in your hair. Uh, but we are, because we can. Okay, so like I said, this is actually fairly easy. The only things you need to know how to do are English braid, and if you would like, four strand braid. Whichever four strand you want. I'm doing the uh, four strand twist thingy, whatever. So, um, I'll show you. We want to take a bottom section of our hair and actually a decent amount. Um, this is going to serve as our headband. That's good. So it doesn't need to be perfectly straight because we're going to hide all this with the big bun, but uh, we want it to be a decent, uh, we're using this as a headband, so you don't want it super, super thin. Um, all my fine haired ladies, sorry. Uh, I know you guys have some silky, silky hair to work with and it doesn't always work out for you. Put this over here. All right, so I am going to four strand braid this, which means we need to start out by separating into four strands that are hopefully mostly equal. Hopefully. Hmm. All right, and then we are going to go behind, let's see, outside, right, behind, let's see, inside, right of the left, and then we grab the fur. Oh my God. So let's see. Think of them as separated into two. You have two over here and two over here. So the right hand side of both goes behind. See, behind, and this one is behind, and then the last section that you pull over goes underneath what's over here on the right hand side. So, this is one of those where you kind of got to watch because I can't explain properly. Um, it's easy, it really, really is. Once you get the hang of it, it's actually not hard. Um, especially if you think about it as you're just folding over two separate sections and then putting them together. So, there we go. It's not, it's not that bad. Uh, four strand braids don't really give me any trouble. It's when we get up to five strand that I start feeling like my fingers don't know what they're doing anymore. Um, and I can do a five strand braid, but it is not the prettiest thing in the entire world uh, when I do it. You know, FYI. Which is why we don't do many of those. So, any hoodles, let me finish. Stop battling at you. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to show you the next step. It's a short one today, guys, because this is super simple. No French braiding, no Dutch braiding, no lace braiding. Nothing really tricky. This is your trickiest portion right here. 
All right, back in a sec. All righty, darlings, we've got a four strand braid over on this side. Woo. Okay, so we're gonna take all the rest of this and put it in a side pony. Mmm. Yeah, like I said, you guys, this is not a hard one. Um, it's a few little steps, but I think it's really cute. And, um, I don't know. I like it. It's pretty comfortable as well. It's not, it's not bad. And it's a bit of a lower bun, which you guys know I don't do all that often. Um, even though quite a few of you wear lower buns. Um, so you just take my buns and put them further on the back of your head, which is totally fine. Um, my comfort spot is a little higher. But if your comfort spot is a little lower, then by all means. Oh. All right, um, it's not like an egregious uh, side pony. Okay, it is. It's, it's a side pony. I can't get past that. But we're covered in all that um, this far. Let go here. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to pony this. So that's ponied. I figure you guys don't need to watch me put my hair in a pony for goodness sake. So we have our pony. Um, let me check and make sure I don't have weird... Lumpy bubbles. Oh, not too bad. Like I said, don't really worry about this at the moment because it's going to be covered. Okay, next step. Um, I need a couple of little bobbies because we are going to pin this headband down on our head and I want them to hide. Basically. So, um, if you look at a four strand, you have this side. You see where it's kind of woven in. Then the other side where they kind of sit on top and that's the side I want to show. So I'm just going to make sure that the other side will be underneath. And I'm going to bring it up and over. Um, and go ahead and pin. You guys have probably noticed I don't wear headbands very often. Unless they're made out of my own hair for the simple fact that headbands will not stay on my head. Uh, because the back of my head is flat. It just is. Um, and uh, I mentioned that before, and quite a few of you apparently have the exact same problem I did. So, you know, welcome to the flathead club. Uh, <laughs> mine's a little flat on top, and a little, ooh, that one I can see. Um, and a little flat on the back, and just flat all around. No, there's... My mom didn't do anything weird to me when I was a kid. It just, it's just flat. All right, yay. Now, what we have left over over here, I'm just going to wrap around. I'm gonna pin it down first. Then I can wrap around the rest of the tail. Just to make sure that we never see that ponytail holder. Because, you know, I hate it when my work show. Now, we're going to English braid, three-strand braid, whatever you'd like to call it, plate, flat, what have you. Separate all that out. Yeah, we're just going to three-strand braid this, and then we're going to bun it. Um, so, braid away. Okay, we should have a headband pinned to our head, made of our own hair, which we do. And a big old braid, which we do. So we're gonna take this braid and make a bun on the back of our head. We're gonna make it squishy like this. Instead of round, we're going for a blonde. So let's do that. Um, yes, I had you put it in a ponytail first, just because I find that a lot easier and it made all of this smooth, which looks nice to me. All right. Commence with pinning. I have to look at the front to make sure I'm not too far over. Okay. Sorry, guys. That happens sometimes. And then we go around the ponytail holder on the outside and around again like so. And add more pins. More pinning. Now we have to hide the end up underneath one of the big loops. And then just secure with as many pins as you feel you need. 
Well, my shape is off, though. Why did we get so much droop down here? Let us pin up. And this, this is so thick for some reason. Let's fix that droopy. As always, when I do these hairstyles, I do them one day, you know, in practice. They're perfect. Takes no time. This one, actually. I tried like seven, six or seven different hairstyles trying to get one that I liked. And, it's too small. They were, yeah. But when I came up with this one, there we go. When I came up with this one, went up, no problem, easy peasy punk of pie. And then, of course, I go to film it. And we have issues because it never fails. Anyway, okay, I think we're all pinned into submission. So here it is with no adornment. Um, it is vaguely reminiscent of one of Leia's hairstyles on Endor from Return of the Jedi. I know um, hers is uh, two of these little headbands and then two little buns. I can't help it. Um, Sometimes Leia's hair just is apparently in my subconscious and I mimic it without knowing it. Um, it happens. So, yeah, whatever. Maybe maybe we should do like a, a month of nothing but Leia hairstyles. I think there's at least four that I can do with my hair. Reasonable facsimiles. Let's pin this in, shall we? So, it's actually pretty easy. You just pin it. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Like so. Does it look nice? It looks nice from the front. And it looks nice from the back. Yay! There we go. Looks good, right? I think it looks good. It's very pretty. Our hair is up. Because especially down here at this time of the year, it is rainy, so it would be all up. And, and, woo. My headband's going back on that side. Um, it's up and out of the way. If you don't have bangs, they'll go back perfectly nice in this headband. They did the first time I did it. Oh, oh my pins are stuck together. Mm. Like I said, the fiddliest part is this headband. And that's because I have a flat head. There. Better. Yes. So there it is. There's your uh, fall bun. It's a low one for all my ladies who are all about the lower bun. It doesn't have any crazy braids that you can't do. If you cannot figure out the four strand, that's fine. This can be a regular English braid. You see, it's not whatever. You can make it a five strand. You can do a fishtail. You, whatever braid you want. It's an accent. I like the four strand one because it's a little bit different than in English. And I like always like using two different braids. I specifically did not do a rope braid because so many of my girls still can't rope braid. I think we're going to revisit that soon. Because um, two-strand rope braid is so easy. And we should be able to do that, you guys. Besides, I use them a lot. So we're probably going to revisit that pretty soon. Um, might just be a little extra something. I don't know. Um, any hoodles? That's it. I'll see you tomorrow for book discussion. I don't remember what day. Okay, I love you guys. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.